Hey there guys, how's it going? Um, haven't done a video in ages and uh, I've been receiving quite a few emails, messages, uh, comments on some of the older videos on the channel uh, asking what happened, where I've gone, have I died, that sort of thing and uh, I just wanted to jump on and explain what's going on so I uh, haven't done any FTSE show videos for quite some time uh, they take a lot of time and effort to put together and my uh, most of you probably already know but on a monday to friday basis uh, i analyze uk stocks that's what i'm doing every single day uh, and with 957 uk stocks analyzed i'm constantly reviewing those companies um, it's like an ongoing maintenance so every time an annual report comes out i'm jumping on that annual report i'm looking to see what's changed what's going on uh, do this does this company qualify for my list of companies I'm, in, I'm in, interested in of that list how many of them are priced at a level that makes sense to be investing uh, and I share all that information with my my membership uh, group the uh, amount of work that I do has gone up because we've started doing US stocks now as well uh, and I mean, we're talking thousands of companies to be analysing and going through. So that's taken up a lot of my time as well. And the membership's grown. We've grown to that. This is the biggest we've ever had it. Um, and so when the membership grows, we get more inquiries from, from members, more people needing a bit of support. Uh, and so, and I get more emails every day. And so it's got to a point where I'm really struggling to churn out any videos. Um, and so what I started doing was, and I've been running it for a while, but the podcast, the Diary of a UK Stock Investor podcast is something that I was doing on the side. It takes up so much less time to do. It takes up so much less time to actually do. And I have kind of been embracing the podcast because that's my... Uh, a very simple way of me kind of sharing my journey, if you will. Um, and so I've decided that I'm going to stop continuing with the YouTube because the amount of work it takes to put out a video in terms of time and effort, uh, I just I just don't, can't justify the time anymore. Uh, whereas the podcast takes me half an hour to record, probably 20 minutes to edit if I, if I need to edit it at all, and I can just slap it up and it's so much simpler uh and so I've, embra I've embraced that we're doing a once a week show on the podcast if you have enjoyed the footsie show content or the, sh the content on this channel and you'd like to continue to follow the work that i'm doing then podcast is the best place it's called the diary of a uk stock investor podcast i'll put a link to it in the description below this video uh come and take you know come and have a listen see what you think uh, again, I, I'm still going to be uh, doing much of the same sort of stuff as what I was doing on the YouTube, obviously without the visual uh, aid as well. Uh, but there's hopefully still value there. The podcast has been growing. I think we've got 15,000 downloads now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, every single month we've had more downloads than the previous month. So it's it's increasing in popularity, which is awesome. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's where we're going to be doing it. I'm on a challenge that I've set myself to turn 4K into £1,024,867. And I am documenting that entire process. Why? Because I think it would be really cool at a million pounds, 20 years time, to look back and have a month by month record of the entire process of how i got there of what i did of the whole journey uh and that's not around at the moment i don't see anyone else doing this and i just really like the idea of leaving that kind of legacy behind uh, a kind of a, a road map onto how i did it to help other people to uh follow suit essentially and even if I fail, you know, and I don't quite make the million, I'm certain I will. But if I don't, uh, at least there'll be some sort of like a record there that people can see how things went. And I just really like the idea of it. And so the podcast has become that now. The podcast is something that I can still produce that content along with a lot of ideas and mindset stuff, philosophy on long term investing, uh, we take a look at some of the companies in a deeper level. 
Uh, I, I use plenty of examples in the work that I'm doing and the podcast that I'm doing. And yeah, the podcast has begun has become that outlet, I suppose, uh, that I'm going to use to document the whole thing. The podcast has been running this whole time. Uh, from the 1st of January this year, we've essentially, or I've been doubling down on that podcast. We haven't missed a week. Every single episode, every Thursday, uh, an episode goes out. We haven't missed one since the start of the year. Uh, no intentions to. In fact, I'm looking at maybe going to two a week rather than one a week, just because it's so much easier to get an episode out there. Um, so, yeah, all I've jumped on to really say is that's what's going on. Probably not going to be doing any more FTSE show YouTubes, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but I just can't justify it. I just can't put the work in. I mean, it takes up two days of my week to get a video out. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing more analysis than I've done before. The membership is growing. The podcast is growing. It just makes sense to double down on all that, all that stuff uh, that I can fit into my week. Uh, rather than try and stretch myself thin, trying to do a YouTube channel badly, basically. So, yeah, looking at doubling down on the podcast, trying to do that as best I can, you know, uh, in terms of consistency, turning up every single week, looking at maybe doing two a week uh, and, and going from there. So if it's something that you think you might be interested in, uh, check it out. It's on Spotify. It's on um Amazon Music is on all of the podcast streaming platforms. Uh, it's called Diary of a UK Stock Investor. And uh, yeah, check it out. If you want to get in touch with me at all, uh, I have a website, chrischillingworth.com. Uh, if you want to email me, it's chris at chrischillingworth.com. Uh, like I say, because I'm not going to be doing any of these videos anymore. If you want to stay in touch at all, then that's probably the best way to do it is to hit my website or to drop me an email, say hi. Uh, yeah, thank you for the support and uh, I appreciate it and I'll see you guys hopefully on the podcast. Cheers.